Good morning! Today is Wednesday and it is 10.30 and tonight, or last night, was the first night that I actually slept more than three hours. I slept five and a half hours and it was glorious and that was mostly due to the fact that I didn't take a nap yesterday. <laughs> Right now we're drinking strawberry milk. I remember having strawberry milk when I was a kid and I don't remember really liking it that much, but I really like this. This is really nice. It's not too sweet. I think the thing about strawberry milk that I didn't like was the film that like milk leaves behind when you drink it. So for the plan today, we are going to VX. We're going back to that vegan shop where they also serve coffee and breakfast, or not breakfast, but like lunchy type things. I think they sell like sandwiches, burgers. I don't really know, but it sounds legit. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Let's go! <laughs> So we just came from the third estate and we had like probably like a 20 minute chat with them. Like we talked about the ethics of like screen printing and the environmental impact and just kind of the impact of like selling clothes or selling vegan products at all. And it was just like really, really cool. They're really, really nice. You definitely should go to third estate if you haven't been already if you're or if you're in London because like they're just really, really great people. They're super, super nice. We got some awesome shoes. Well, I got some awesome shoes. Definitely something that you should go visit and see, um, especially if you live in Canada like me and there's not a lot of shops that have vegan options like that. So, no, not like brick and mortar shops anyway, so. Dragon fruit, grapefruit or orange. There's like lentils, corn, coffee. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. back from Camden Market and holy moly I just spent a lot of money totally worth it so let's show you all the things that I bought so first at uh, the third estate which is the vegan store I just showed you guys this is a pair of boots that I got they're kind of like Timbaland esque but I don't know I just really like them they're really chunky and like they're cute this is from Wills which is a 
vegan company. Um, they make vegan shoes and they actually sell online. They ship to UK and US, but they don't ship to Canada. So I knew that while I was here, I really wanted to get something um, from Wills because I've seen the website and their shoes are, I'm sure you guys saw me freak out, but I got this bag. Like, look how beautiful this bag is. It's made out of leaves and it has like, I think they patented it, but it's like a patented um, like kind of coating that like keeps the leaves from breaking. Oh my God, it's like actually the most beautiful bag I have ever seen. It was like a school project. Um, I'll leave the website down below so you guys can check it out and you can order online. They do international shipping, but I mean, because it's like handmade, they dry all the leaves for like 10 days before they like do the coating and then they like make the bags themselves. Like this apparently took three months to make, which is why it was 60 quid, which is like 120 bucks probably, but well worth it in my opinion. I also got a little like pocket wallet thing because a lot of times in the winter I hate carrying a purse around. I also got a necklace. As many of you know, I'm a big nerd and I love Harry Potter. So, I mean, it's not like official Harry Potter stuff, but like, I don't really care that much. It's, it's a Deathly Hallows uh, symbol. I also have a Deathly Hallows keychain, which is somewhere. I got a pair of earrings for a friend of mine. They're just like little lemons. And I got a orange slice necklace for myself. These are actually all dehydrated for 10 hours before they're coated in like a polymer so that they're like actual fruit necklaces. They're just so cool, I love it. Obviously I'm a huge sucker for like food related stuff, but it's just like so perfect. I, oh my God. I also got some sunglasses, not that artisanal or exciting. I probably overpaid, but I paid in cash and I was able to haggle four dollars or like two pounds off them. So this is pair number one. And this is Aviators, which I really like. I, I find this complements my face shape, face shape well. So anyway, I just spent a lot of money and I'm feeling kind of self-conscious about it. We're just gonna chill. I'm gonna transfer all this stuff to my new backpack. I'm so excited. And then we're gonna go to Fed by Water for seven o'clock for dinner. And then we have our meetup. So yeah, if you are interested in any of these kind of uh, products uh, most of, I think everything has a shop online so I'll put all the links down below for you guys to check out and support these uh, small businesses just like look how adorable these are I can't handle it oh so cute oh. So this is the chocolate chip ice cream sandwich with vanilla ice cream milk. I don't even know how to approach this. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, well, there's a fork there. It's too hard. Look how creamy that is. It looks like I just woke up. I didn't, I just had my hair in a bun. So we just had the meetup. I totally forgot to film because I was really excited to talk to you. Thank you, Andrea, for coming. It was so great to meet you and hear about Italy. It was great. I mean, the Amarino that we went to in Paris is the same chain, so it's not like you guys are missing out. And it was the same flavors too. So I think eight or nine different flavors that were vegan. They are labeled vegan on them. So if you guys are near an Amarino, I believe they probably all have the same sort of uh, branding and or flavors um, that are labeled as vegan. So for those who are asking if I'm going to do a meetup in Toronto, yes, I will. It'll probably be around the 
Toronto Food and Drink Festival, which is around August 19th, which is actually around my birthday. So come celebrate my birthday with me. We're just in the Airbnb again. We're about to watch some Philip DeFranco. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. I'm really excited. We have lots of things that we wanted to do because we slacked on them a little bit today. Um, but yeah, today was a good day. Good night. Bye. Good morning. I just realized our recycling pile looks a little ridiculous. I don't really know how they recycle in England because they don't have like a recycling bin or anything. Today is Thursday, our last full day in London. I'm very sad. Are you sad? But we have a lot of really fun stuff on the docket today. Um, it's going to be a very busy day because the first couple days I didn't do very much planning. So all the stuff that I really wanted to do, I'm stuffing into today. My legs are a little sore. They're also very jacked. I think Eddie's still a little asleep, but he's drinking a strawberry milk and he will be awake soon. Contacts in, showered, hair is not washed, but that's okay. I don't need to wash my hair today. Last day in London. Yeah. Let's go there. They have more of that yogurt. That's so good. Get more easy egg. This stuff is delicious. Oh my god, that is a giant wiener. Nice. <laughs> Vegan smoked steak. Whoa! Vegan bratwurst? Whoa, that looks legit. That looks so good. Look at the little teeny tiny hot dogs. They look so cute. These are all vegan. That's really cool. This looks kind of weird, but could be good. I don't know. Of course England would have carrots and peas in a jar. Cool. Yeah, I think these are nutritional yeast. Yeah. Mmm, pate. I think actually we have this brand in Canada. But the one we got in France was so good. Asafoetida or whatever. This is for people who um, don't eat garlic or onion. They use this instead as like their um, aromatic. Ooh, that looks ridiculous. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Yes, yes. Yes. So they look like sun sun chips? Is that what they're called in Canada? Yeah. 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 But they're sun bites, I guess because they're crisps here, so it'd be like sun crisps. But um, yeah, these ones are vegan. <gasps> they're vegan. They're suitable for vegetarians. I'm getting a bunch of starbursts so. though. We opted for the little bag because the big one was a little bit too much. So we have like 10 chips in here, which is fine. It's like 60p. They taste sort of like sun chips, but but not really. No. I feel like it's more corny. There's like oats in this one. I don't think there's oats in the ones at home. I like them. I'm, I really miss sun chips. Those are like my favorite chips. They should make a vegan one. Maybe I'll tweet at them. Be like, hey, sun chips. Make a vegan one. Where are we going now? I don't know.
So we're about to head to Forbidden Planet now. We went from one nerd destination to another. I couldn't film inside the Doctor Who Museum, otherwise I would have, but it was really, really cool. So if you're ever in London, definitely go and visit it if you can. So let's go to Forbidden Planet. This like, a, apparently it's like a mega store of nerd stuff. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys are too. We missed our stop and we're late for the meetup. If you miss any of that, I'll leave all the, the linky stuff down below. So you should follow them, and if you live in London, come up, meet up with yeah, them. Yeah, come say hi. Yeah. Good morning, it is Friday. Today is the last day, well, not technically because we're leaving. Um, we're still in London, but we are flying out today at two or three. The first ticket that we bought says two. The second ticket that we got when we get checked in said three, but boarding at the same time as the first ticket. It's very confusing. So we're just gonna be there for 12 and hope everything's gonna be fine. I'm very proud of my eyebrows today, but Eddie just went to the gross, well, the bakery, there's a bakery down the street that way, to get some bread because we have some cheese and uh, vegan meat, uh, vegan salami and some butter left in the fridge. And I was like, that sounds like a perfect sandwich that we can bring with us to the airport because I don't really trust airport food. We're almost past Packed. Um, so this is one of our suitcases and the other one is down there. Yeah, we still have a cooler to put in full of cheese, vegan cheese of course. I have a lot of snacks. We bought a lot of food that was vegan friendly here, like pudding, cookies, chocolate, like I bought a lot. Pretty much on track. We, we need to leave by like 10.45 in order to get to the airport by noon. We're gonna take the two. It's like an hour and 10 minutes on the ride. Uber or any other, like there's like a shuttle or something like that, like all of those things cost like 40 quid each, which is about like $70. Those other modes of transportation only shave off about 20 minutes, still like a 40 minute ride from here. So if you take a tube, it's like $5, like I think it's like three quid or something. We're gonna do that. So Eddie got bread, uh, a nice little size for two sandwiches, I think. And then in the meantime, I'm eating the leftovers of our pizza that we had at Fed by Water. So this is gonna be my breakfast. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make our sandwiches for lunch. But we've got some cherry tomatoes that I'm gonna cut up and put on the sandwich. Some lettuce because we haven't had greens in a while. Uh, so I cut this very fresh looking bread, although it kind of bunched up funny. So I'm gonna pull this out. You want a piece? No. And now I have space for all the stuff inside. Just making a sandwich to go to the airport. We're gonna use some of this cheese as uh, insulation for the, our juicier ingredients. I'm gonna put it on a diagonal. Veginess salami. Yo, that actually looks pretty good. Ooh, almost dropped it. 
I just like take this, I'll just like put it inside. It's like almost the perfect size. <laughs> Let's try one. It's pretty good. I dig it. I think I'm getting a little too ambitious with this sandwich. Yeah, if this knife was sharper, I'd be able to cut them into thinner slices, but instead I'm just kind of like lazily cutting them in half and then that's gonna be our sandwich. I know this is all the quality content you guys came here for, to see me struggle making a sandwich in England. Spinach leaves. I don't know how to make sandwiches. <laughs> I've made better sandwiches. Let's just say that. I mean, it could be a lot worse. It's just a very uh, well-endowed sandwich. So I'm just gonna stuff it in the foil and hope everything's gonna be fine. This one's like significantly heavier because of all the tomatoes. There's like six tomatoes in this one and like four in this one. Right now we're here and we wanna go here. So I'm just eating some eat chocolate, but it's actually so good and it's vegan, half plastic, but it's so good. It's been so long. Normally vegan chocolate's like dark chocolate or like healthy chocolate, but unhealthy sugary chocolate. No, it's like Easter candy. Yeah. 